So now let's implement the adapter design pattern. It's a structural pattern that basically allows a couple incompatible classes to work together. And it does so usually by wrapping a class behind a new class. Now in this case, we're gonna be dealing with a relatively simple example. So we're given a few classes. We're given a square hole class, a square class, and a circle class. Of course, a square can fit into a square hole, but only if the length of the square, the side length, is less than or equal to the side length of the square hole. I'll scroll down so you can see the picture because pictures are usually easier to understand. Now, a circle doesn't have a side length, but it does have a radius, and for a circle, to fit into a square like this one, the circle's diameter has to be less than or equal to the square hole's side length. And the diameter of a circle is, of course, two times the radius. And you can kind of imply as much from this picture. As long as two times the radius of the circle is less than the side length of the square, it should fit inside. That's going to be important because what we are implementing here is going to be a circle to square adapter such that it allows us to put circles inside of square holes. Quickly down here, looking at some of the example code, you can see we have a square hole. It, the parameter it accepts is going to be the side length of that square hole. And it's going to have a method to determine if a square can fit into that square hole. And in this case, it can, we return true. And that's because look at the square that we constructed and then passed in, it also has a side length of five. And within the square hole code, you can see here that the way we would determine if the square can fit or not is basically the side length of the square hole is greater than or equal to the side length of the square. So that's pretty easy from the squares perspective. And just looking at the square code quickly, it's pretty simple, has a constructor that allows us to set the side length and then get the side length as well, which of course that get side length is what is used in the square hole class. And down here though, we also have a circle. Of course, that doesn't have a side length, it has a radius. So that's why we can't pass a circle into the can fit method. First of all, it expects a square interface, and that's because squares have get side length. Circles do not have that. So how do we make this circle compatible with the square hole class? And not only make it compatible, but also make it accurate. How do we make it so that when we call get side length on whatever adapter we use for the circle, that it's actually accurate. It actually tells us if the circle fits or not. Because uh, looking at this example here, you can see if we create a circle with a radius of five, and then with our, I'll, I'll make it a bit larger, but with our circle to square adapter, we pass that circle in, and this circle to square adapter will be passed into the square hole, and it returns false. It does not fit. Because a circle with a radius of five is gonna have a diameter of 10. There's no way that's gonna fit in a square hole with a side length of five. Down here, the example is kind of the opposite. The square is too big, it does not fit, but the circle is small enough such that it does fit. So we want to create an adapter that allows us to pass circles into the square hole. Let's go ahead and do that now. Let's go ahead and implement this circle to square adapter. Of course, the constructor is gonna take a circle in. And for that, we're gonna need to have a variable to store that circle. So that's basically what the responsibility of the constructor is gonna be here. Just store whatever circle we passed in. So this is kind of abstracting that. This is wrapping that existing circle. And notice that this circle to square adapter does extend the square. That is why we are overriding the get side length method because then when we pass this into this method here, the can fit method, it will be casted to a square. We can call get side length on it and we will accurately be able to determine if the circle fits or not. But now for us to actually know what the side length is, well, the proxy or the equivalent way of saying like the side length of a circle is basically two times the radius. So that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna say this circle get 
the radius and multiply it by two. And that is gonna be the side length. That is what we can use to determine if a circle will fit in the square hole or not. So that is the entire code. Let's go ahead and uh, put a semicolon there and run this to make sure that it works. And as you can see, yes, it does. So I'll go ahead and leave things there, but I think this was definitely one of the more interesting problems. And it might've been a bit challenging as well because some of this is not exclusive to like the adapter, but I think it does make sense in this context.